we're going to discuss some simple scenarios with simple and compound interest. Let's start off by just getting the idea of uh, what simple interest is. So basically, simple interest is when the interest is charged or earned on just the initial amount you invested or borrowed. Now, let's try and pull apart what that means. If you invest money, in other words, if you put money into a bank or whatever, they pay you interest. And that interest is always a percentage of what you've invested. So if it's simple interest, what they say is for every year you leave that money in our bank, we will pay you a certain percent of the initial amount that you invested. So let's look at an example. Um, if you put 100 Rand into the bank and that it pays you 8% simple interest per annum. Now just uh, be clear that this per annum is just a very fancy way of saying per year. Okay, so when you see per annum, it means per year, and sometimes people just abbreviate that to PA, right, to be per annum. So it just means every year that goes by, they're going to pay me 8% simple interest, and I want to know how much I'll have in the bank after three years. Well, what you have with simple interest is it means that they're going to pay you 8% on the initial amount that you invested. So 8% of that 100 Rand, they're going to pay you for every single year. So what's 8% of 100 Rand? Well, 8% is 8 over 100 multiplied by 100 Rand. That is going to work out to 8 Rand. So what that tells me is that for every year that goes by, they are going to give me 8 Rand in interest. So this is the amount of interest I get each year. And how many years am I going to leave it there for? Three years. So I'm going to take that 8 Rand and I'm going to multiply it by 3. And so over the three years, I'll get 24 Rand interest. And so my total amount in the bank will be 100 plus the 24, which will equal to 124. Okay, so let's just be clear. This is the total interest that I would have earned in three years. All right, so let's just have a look at what we had to do to get to our answer of 24 Rand in interest. To get to our answer, we had to say 8% times, times 100, and then we had to take that and we had to multiply it by 3. So we had to take the interest rate, so if I call that I, which is for interest rate, and then I say the initial amount that we invested, I'll call that P, all right? And then the number of years I'm going to call N. How do I get my answer for the total interest? I say take the interest rate times the amount I invested, which is the P, so I, times P times N, and that will tell me the total interest I've earned after three years. To get the total amount, I must take the amount I invested and add on the interest. Okay, so here I've got a little extract from a textbook, and uh, we well, let's discuss it because it's going to show us the same ideas again. All right, simple interest. Interest is charged or earned on the initial amount borrowed or invested. If I invest 500 Rand in an account that pays 10% simple interest per year, I will earn 10% all right, of the initial amount, so 10% of 500 each year. Well, 10% is just 10 over 100 of 500, so I earn 50 Rand as interest each year. Now, I just want you to notice here very carefully, how did we work out how much interest we'd earn each year? We took the interest rate and we multiplied it by the amount we initially invested. And there we got that we were going to earn 50 Rand each year. Then I go ahead and I say I'm going to invest it for three years. So for each year that goes by, I'm going to earn this amount, this amount. And so what will the total be? 
Well, to get the total, I'm going to just have to take that little amount that I earn each year and multiply it by the number of years. So I'm then going to take this and multiply it by n. So can you see where this fancy formula that you might see in your textbooks comes from? The amount of interest you earn is just what we've seen. You take the amount you put in, you multiply it by the interest rate to get what you earn in interest each year, and then you multiply it by the number of years it stays there for. So you can use this formula if you like. So for example, in this scenario, if we wanted to do get the simple interest earned, we take P times N times I. P is 500, N is 3, I is your 10%. So you're going to get 1500 times 10%, which is going to work out to 150 Rand. And then, obviously sometimes you don't just want the interest, you want the total. To get the total, you're going to say, and the total we often use A, right, as it's the symbol for that. We're going to say, take the amount we originally invested and add the simple interest to it. So the amount we originally invested was 500, the interest was 150, and so in total we'll have 650. Okay, you can use this formula, which just says exactly the same thing. It says, to get the total amount you earn, take the amount you originally invested, which is P, and then add on P times I times N, right, which is your simple interest. Let's just go through some of these fancy words they use. They like to use A for accumulated amount. Really, that's just the total you have after it's been in the bank for the few years or the total you owe if you do it as a loan. SI stands for the actual interest, the simple interest that you've earned, the amount of money you've earned in interest. P is used for, they call it principal, right? Funny word, principal, really all it means is the amount that you borrowed or the amount that you invested, the original amount you put into the bank. I is your interest rate as a percentage and N is your number of years you invest for. Okay, how purchase works. That When I go and I want to buy something really expensive, I often don't have the cash, right? Like if I want to buy this fridge for 3000 I don't have the cash. So the shop says to me, okay, it's fine. Pay a little bit of it now. So in other words, I often say like pay a 10% deposit. Um, so let's just work it out. In this case, if I paid a 10% deposit, the deposit is going to be 10% of the 3,000. Okay. And 10% of 3,000 is just 300. So I only pay them 300 Rand for the fridge. And I can take the fridge with me then. But the, obviously they want the rest of their money, right? So they, they say, okay, the rest, the 2,700 Rand that's left, okay? So what is left is 3,000 minus 300, which is 2,700, right? And that basically becomes a loan that I take from the shop. Now, obviously what happens when somebody gives you a loan, they're going to charge you interest for that loan. And with higher purchase, what the store often does is they charge you simple interest on the loan and they calculate how much you owe. So in this case, they say, okay, I'll lend you this 2007 and I'm going to charge you simple interest for two years for that 2007. All right, so then the simple interest that they're charging me is on 2007, they are going to pay, charge me a really high 25% interest. So 25% interest, and they're going to do it each year for two years. So that's what it's going to be in total. Now, if I go to my calculator and I work this out, this comes to 1,350. So just in interest, I'm going to pay 1,350. So what I need to figure out then, because what they then say to me is, look, okay, you don't obviously have to pay it back all in one go. What we're going to do is we're going to make you pay a little bit each month over those two years. 
So two years is 24 months. So now I want to work out how much does I pay over 24 months so that I will pay back not only the amount that I borrowed, but also the interest that they're charging me on that. So the total I pay back over two years is going to be the 2,700 Rand I borrow plus the 1,350. And that, if I add those two together, is going to give me 4,050. And as I said, they let me pay a little bit each month. So each month, how much must I pay? I'm going to take that 4,050 and divide it by 24, right? Because I need to figure out 24 months, two years. What do I pay each month? So I go to my calculator here and I get my answer of 168 Rand and 75 cents. And so that's what I'm going to have to pay each month. Now you can then actually go and figure out what I actually have ended up paying in total for this fridge. It's going to be the 300 deposit, 160 Rand times the 24, which is 4,050, which is going to mean that I end up paying 4,350 Rand for the fridge that would have cost me 3,000 cash. But that's because I had to take a bit as a loan. And when you take a loan, you get charged interest on the loan. Okay, compound interest is a different story. Remember, in simple interest, we just earned the interest on the initial amount that we invested. But what happens with compound interest is we get to earn interest on our interest as the years go by. So let's just have a look at the quick scenario here and understand this better. 2,000 at 5% compound interest for three years. How much will I have in the bank after three years? So what you'll get is after any year naught where you start, you'll just have 2,000. But after one year, okay, so this is the number of years, you will have 2,000 Rand plus you're going to get 5% interest. So you're going to get 5% of 2,000 Rand. And that is going to be, all right, 5% of 2,000 Rand is... 100 Rand. So by the end of year one, you will have, after one year of having that money in the bank, you'll have 2,100 Rand. Now, what happens after two years of having that money in the bank? Now, this is where compound interest is different because if it was simple interest, you'd just get another 100 Rand, right? You'd just get another dose of this. But with compound interest, what you will get is you will get 2,100 Rand, which is what you have, plus now you will get 5% of that 2,100 Rand. So can you see you're getting interest not only on the initial amount that you invested, but also on that 100 Rand interest that you earned in the first year. So what do you have? You are going to get 105 Rand interest in this second year because 5% of 2,100 is 105. So what you're going to have is 2,205. And what happens in the third year, you're going to get have that 2,205 that you start with at the beginning of the year, of this third year. And you're going to get 5% interest on that amount. And so what you will have in the bank, I'm going to use my calculator here, and I work out that you are going to have 2,315 Rand and 25 cents. And if you had only been getting simple interest, Remember, simple interest, you always just get 5% of 2,000, which was 100. 
So you would get 100, 100, 100. You'd end up with 2,300. Whereas here with the compound interest, you get a bit more because you earn interest not only on the original amount, but on the interest already. Now it gets very boring to with compound interest to go and have to work it out year by year in the way we've just done. So in fact, there's a nice shortcut formula that we can use. And what this formula says is to get the accumulated amount, right? Which you remember, the A just stands for the amount you have in the bank after however many years. Um, and you say what you do is you take the initial amount and you multiply it by 1 plus the interest rate, right, which is in percentage terms, times, I mean not times, to the power of the number of years that go by. Because for each year that goes by, you're getting the interest. So, let us have a look at a question and see if we can work out the compound interest using this formula. So if you invest 5000 in a bank for six years and you, you get paid 8% compound interest, how much will you have in the bank after six years? Pause the video, do it now in your books, and then we'll go over it. Okay, so I'm going to go with a shortcut now of just using the formula, which is, I have to check, it's compound interest. So I'm going to use the formula with the exponent, because that gives me the interest on the interest idea. And my P, the principal or the amount invested, that was 5,000 Rand. The interest rate was 8%, which is 8 over 100. And the number of years is 6. Now I'm going to just go and put that into my calculator. And I will get... Oh, I need a pen. Uh, 7,934 rand and 37 cents. That's the total amount that I have in the bank. If they asked me how much interest did I earn over those six years, well, I put in 5,000. By the end, there was 7,934 rand and 37 cents. So the amount of interest earned, if they wanted to ask that, would I, I would get that very easily by just saying this minus this, and it would be 2,934 Rand and 37 cents. That's the amount of interest earned.